Hello and welcome to this Unreal micro lesson on how to make an object rotate using only materials. So as you can see in this, I have set up a uh, a small static mesh where um, the center of it is is rotating slowly around. Now, this is easy to do if you were to use two separate static meshes and to rotate them in the world or using a blueprint. However, what is interesting about this is this is just one static mesh, not a skeletal mesh, no animation applied to it. It is just singularly rotating. Now, I, so as you can see, this center section here is set to rotate and the outside sections are set to be solid. Right, so. I would like to demonstrate this using these two meshes here. So these are two meshes where I have applied a simple material to them in order to make them rotate. So let me show you how I've done this. So as you can see, I have the material set up here. The material setup is, is very, very straightforward. I've just created a, uh, a blue color and plugged it directly into the base color. And then all the magic is done on the world position offset. So if you look at this, I'm just going to delete all that because it's not needed. And I'm going to delete that. So what we are doing in this instance is we are uh, taking the time and I'm just multiplying it by a speed. This gives me a, a variable which allows me to speed up or slow down the rotation. So if you look here, if I was to put two and compile, it would start spinning at a considerably faster speed. Uh, but I'm just going to put it back at three in order to, to slow it down. So you can control the speed using this, this parameter here. Now, we are um, inverting, we are multiplying it by minus one. If you remove that, you're going to see it rotating in the opposite direction. So it's a useful little point. Um, so that's going to control the direction of the rotation. Now, it's looking, uh, the main thing that I'm doing here is using this rotate around the world axis. This is, this is um, going to calculate and rotate the, each of the vertices around whatever the axis of the object is. Now, as you can see this, if we are using the X axis and plug that straight into the world position offset, we're going to get this vertical uh, sort of vertical rotation uh, that I was using in the model, uh, the model we had before. However, if you want to rotate in the opposite direction, um, then we just need to use the Z axis. So you can see that that is now rotating on its center here. OK, so that is literally all the code you need in order to achieve, to achieve this effect. The pivot point of the object is going to make a big difference. Now, I will just quickly show you how I created the, the effect on the, the model above, the kind of wooden wheel. So that I am using this material here. Now, uh, this material, it's basically the same. However, instead of just plugging in the blue, I plugged in um, a, a wooden texture, which has the, uh, the the normal maps and roughness maps and everything else, so, so that it's a good looking material. Um, and the interesting part here is I have a mask, which is specifically uh, drawn to 
to match the, the model that I've created. So you can see in this instance, if I was to just plug this mask directly into the base color and save and apply, if we were to go back and look at the, the model, you would see that the, the center in the middle that's black so I've used the masks to, to identify this center in the middle as black and the outside as white. So this would allow me to uh, control what is rotating and what isn't. So if I plug this back in. So for example, if I wanted it to be the opposite, I would just need to change over what was lurping and we would get the opposite effect where the outside is going to be rotating around the the inner section now this would not affect the collision it, it purely affects how the object looks in in the world from the material point of view so I will grab that small piece of code and I will drop a link to it in the description so thank you very much. That was how to make an object rotate using uh, just the material. Cheers. Bye.